It's so roulette. I can't say it. So, so rude. So re. So. So roulette. Let's see how this goes. Pan, pan, stuff, pan, pan. Because I didn't think about it. There you are. Hello. Ah, so, hubby has a sad. So I'm gonna do a kitchen experiment. I got a recipe from the mama. Thank you, mama. And I'm gonna see how well I can make it. Two cups of milk. And so I went and got soy-free almond milk. Soy and lactose-free, because we're not trying to kill them. And this be two cups. I think this is big enough. It should be big if this isn't. There's one. There's two. One teaspoon of salt. OK, so I have a quarter teaspoon measuring cup that I know where it's at. Uh, everything else is just kind of good luck to chuck. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, four. Huh, double check that. Milk substitute, teaspoon of salt, sugar to taste, cuz... Shit, that's not a measurement. It is. Shit. Part of this that makes it the experiment is Dennis also can't do butter. And so we're going to use some bacon fat. One tablespoon of a butter substance. Thinking fats, like ghee, was a one to one. Do we even have a, okay, that's a teaspoon. How many tablespoons is an ice cream scoop? We have measuring devices, don't we? This is a drawer full of knives. Why would a teaspoon be in there? This should... What do I do? Is there one over here? Hi. I cleaned like half the fucking kitchen today and couldn't find the tablespoon. So I'm gonna grab a... <gasps> Nothing. Ah! All of my helpful items are gone! Destroyed! Here's half a tablespoon. One. So these corn sticks are going to have a bit of a bacony taste, hopefully. So bring the, the milk, sh oh, sugar, salt, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go ahead and start bringing this up slowly. I'm going to just use two. I'll use three. Three tablespoons of sugar. I have a whisk. So when that comes to a boil, I'll then add one and a half cups of yellow cornmeal wine. I have a half cup measuring cup right here. Alright, yeah. More cleaning of stuff and things. That's what this part of the kitchen is for. Are these supposed to be served hot? So my instructions don't say like fast, slow. It just says add cornmeal. So I'm gonna do it slow and kind of try to stir it in. So I'm really hoping it's not one of those things where it's like, you add it slightly too fast. And what was I doing? Bowl. I need you. One cup. I don't know if that's gonna fit in there when I mix it, but it's ooh yeah. So this is gonna make approximately 18 to 20 sticks if I do this right, and I don't make like completely asinine. And it wants us to add Don't take kitchen safety tips from me. Uh, uh, I need to borrow this now. Oh! Oh my goodness. 
I have cornmeal everywhere. Oh my goodness. I made a mistake with this whisk. Oh. I, there, it, this is everywhere. Just need some emergency help here from a from a sniffer. Oh my goodness! We're gonna go ahead and turn that off. Reduce heat to low and cook, strain constantly for three to five minutes. Oh my goodness! How is this stirrable? Like this is. Oh my goodness. This is this is I am making a terrible mess. So the next time I cook anything with cornmeal, um future me will now know. You don't use a whisk. And I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of you watching this uh knew that. The moment it was revealed, I had a whisk and planned to use it. We're gonna do a little cleaning as we go. Cause, oh my goodness. 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 Ta-da! Cooking is just the art of making messes in your kitchen. I gotta bring the oil slowly up to heat. That's thickened. And fry the sticks until golden brown on all sides. And there was a note saying something about like, like set it in there and let it sit until one side is done. It smells good. Uh, it has a small hint of the bacon smell, but not a lot. I think so. It says two tablespoons of the mixture should be made into about a three inch long stick. This is going to be my approximation. Like there. And there, so this is, oh good, it's still warm. Let's mush this together. You know what, if I'm just gonna mush this with my hands, why? Right? Oh. These are gonna look terribly. Wait. Nope. Um, these are gonna look horrible. Turn the heat off on this? I did. Ah! Safety! Okay, so I'm making these too big, I think, because I am just about out. Yeah, I made nine. I made half of my projection. Like, this is... These are huge. I guess I cut these in half. Yeah, these are these are way more than, than three inches. Keep us... <laughs> That's what I get for not using the metric system. There we go. Okay. We're good. Woohoo! We're gonna do some, some cleaning. So these smell delicious. And I need my blue plate. Which is on the bottom of the goddamn stove! No plates were lost. So we're gonna go ahead and start flipping these over. Ooh, nope, these ones are not as done. Oh yeah, it's not to be shot. No, it's so artful. What a fuck right there. All of these are just beautifully shaped. Oh my goodness. Keep frying. Have a frying good time. We're gonna look this up. Okay, so let's see here. So, toast. So I would eat those. It's a really dose. So I would eat those. So I would eat those. So I would eat those. So I So I eat What the fuck? Where do I put these letters? Soyuritos. 
soil, soil ritos, Rita from the soil, boiled in the oil, getting all that crispy wispy in my belly soon. They're that. I need to stop trying to pronunciate things with a Japanese accent. What is happening? That was the soy ritos, which I made a, a horrible, horrible mess. Small change of plans. I'm gonna go pick Dennis up. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet him halfway. He's gonna bust halfway. I'm gonna meet him halfway and pick him up. But I've got the finished product in the bag, so he will get them when he gets in the truck. Mwah. Like this. Hi, Hi. I'm in the thing. Where is it? Are you taking dinner? No. <gasps> really? They're so... Sorritos. Yes. I can't say the word, no. but I can make them. Mommy sent me the recipe. Wow. She wants, wow. To, she wants to see your fish taste. I need... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the thing and I was like, let me make it. Mm. Very fancy. <laughs> I, I've never had them before, so I'm like, I don't know how fancy this is supposed, supposed to be. Taste. <laughs> I don't know what. Mm. You made them correctly. Yay! <laughs> I'm used to them being sweeter. I wasn't sure, so I only used three of the scoops of the Demerara yar. Mm. Um, I couldn't use the butter, of course, so I used bacon fat. <laughs> That's the other difference. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it didn't really come out as bacon y. No, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I was noticing that when we made the rice. We got really out of bacon flavor, just kind of add the richness to it. Yeah. <laughs> Much worse falls butter replacement. Much better. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm There's used to them being more sweet because I have always suspected that Grandma added way more sugar than the recipe ever called for. Uh, that's probably fair. Like, the recipe your mom gave me just said sugar to taste. <laughs> and so I was confused for a little bit. I'm like, that's not a measurement. I don't... <laughs> Absolutely. How much is one taste? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, you ready to go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it.